Welcome to the Bandit Dough Process. My name is Lorenzo Shapiro. In this video, I will introduce our patented dough banding and striping process. This process can be used for numerous dough products, including but not limited to short dough, egg dough, snack food dough, or other sheetable dough. Our intentions are to license companies in each of the following product fields. Snack foods, toaster pastries, cookies and crackers, pasta, frozen food, and many more. Your company will have an enormous technological advantage over the competition in the form of a visually striking and infinitely marketable product, such as these snack food chips. Possibly, your goal is to revive an aging product line. Your company's ability to breathe new life and profit into your existing lineup is possible using this innovative process. For example, these blueberry, banana, and strawberry toaster pastries could wake up an aging product line. Instead of forecasting trends and following the marketplace, create and lead a new food category or profit center well ahead of the competition. Perhaps these blue corn and jack cheese tortilla chips are just this type of leader. To anticipate a successful food product, sometimes a back-to-basics approach to flavor profiles is good business. Old standbys can be combined in new ways like these chocolate, banana, and marshmallow toaster pastries. Take a moment and contemplate your product line's new possibilities with this exclusive process while I show you the following samples. This illustration will help explain how this basic process works. In Figure 1, several sheeters produce varying color and flavor sheeted dough. In Figure 2, these sheets are stacked and compressed making a multicolored and flavored composite sheet. Figure 3 has this composite sheet continually cut into strips traveling down the conveyor to Step 4. This step is at the center of the bandit process. Each of these lengths of composite sheet are continually rotated 90 degrees to reveal this layered dough upwards. After this rotation of composite lengths, a second compression roller compresses the lot into one homogeneous strip or banded sheet ready for a reduction in thickness and ultimately to your final dough former. This is an example of our sheeter creating green dough. This is an example of the composite sheet ready to be delivered to the bandit process. This is a static example of the bandit process. The bandit process allows a company to produce different colored and flavored striped doughs. This process includes the ability to manufacture bands of unequal width variation as well. These variations are all dependent on which sheeters run which dough. For example, four equal bandit intervals is produced when sheeters 1 through 4 run different colored dough like figure 1. A two equal banded variation, such as figure two, is produced when sheeters one and three run black dough and sheeters two and four run yellow dough. In example three, a two equal banded double wide stripe is produced when sheeters one and two are running red dough, three and four are running green dough. When a two unequal banded product is desired, sheeters one, two, and three run one color, 
while Sheeter 4 runs another color. This scenario is displayed in example 4. Example 5 illustrates a three unequal banded product can be made when Sheeter 1 and 2 run yellow dough, Sheeter 3 runs black dough, and Sheeter 4 runs green dough. These five examples of flavor intervals offer a glimpse into the multitude of banded food products possible for your company to produce. Your company's sheeting capacity is the determining factor of bandwidth and variety. Each flavor is likely to be produced via a dedicated sheeter. Four sheeters equal up to four different flavor bands per product. The equipment to fill your company's needs is built to fit within your existing product line. This equipment fits between your mixer sheeters and your dough forming equipment. Although this laminating process was conceived to enhance visual and flavor aesthetics, an inherent secondary benefit is the strength it adds to the final dough sheet, much like plywood is stronger than unlaminated wood. Bandit is now offering a license for this technology to companies in the sheeted dough industry. Bandit can also create this proprietary equipment for use on your existing lines or new ventures. Bandit can be reached by phone at 303-789-1879 or at 1138 South Santa Fe Drive, Denver, Colorado 80223-3129 or our email address is holyrav.com at comcast.net.